Hey, welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to create a wallpaper in Photoshop. As you can see, I have my um, wallpaper that I created earlier in Photoshop set as my background right now. And I'm really liking how it turned out. So I thought I'd create this tutorial on teaching you guys how to make one. Open up Photoshop and we want to go create a new document the size of your screen resolution. So if you don't know your screen resolution, just right click properties and the displays property should pop up. Go into settings and you should see your screen resolution right here. Mine is 1280 by 960. So you, your yours could be different, could be the same. So you want to go back into Photoshop and create a new document and 1280 by 960. Click OK and we should get this you want to the first thing you want to do is unlock the background layer so we unlock next thing you want to do is create a black background so set your foreground color to oops is that the foreground? set your foreground color to ah black and alt backspace fills it in now we want to create the horizontal bar that you see right here. If, uh, if you can see it, it's a really faded blue. So we're going to create that. Create a new layer and name this layer bar. And get your rectangular marquee tool and just make a uh, marquee just about that size. Don't doesn't have to be too big or too small, just the right size. And get your gradient tool. Set your gradient to foreground to transparent. And you can choose any color you want for the foreground. I'm gonna choose a dark blue. Okay. And to get this fade effect, um and not have it like contrast against everything else. You want to start all the way up here and go down to the end, right there. So as you can see, we have it like that. If we start here and end here, it'll be a really dark blue and it'll it won't look too good. Um, once you have that, you want to hold down Control D and it should deselect. All right. So next, we want to create this little corner thing here in the corner just to add a little visual effect get your line tool and hold down shift and make just that size line and make sure it's the color set to white and add a stroke to it I already have a stroke added um, stroke and the size 3 color white alright so now we want to duplicate this layer two times so we're going to duplicate it once and we want to move it down so we're just going to move it down right about there duplicate that layer again and we want to move that down again alright so there we go once you have something that looks sort of similar to that you want to merge these three layers that you just duplicated so hold down um, the layer you're on hold down shift and the first one first layer the shape one layer right click merge layers and the three lines should be merged into one layer alright now we want to move it up in this corner so first thing we're going to do is uh... get it on an angle so hold down control t and just rotate it to uh... holding holding down shift rotate it to an angle we're just going to use that angle and press enter go up in the corner and place it anywhere you want I'll just place it right about there and now you just wanna create a new layer and in this new layer we're gonna be creating the abstract figure like that so get your pen tool and if you do not know how to use the pen tool yet I recommend you look at some tutorials on how to use a pen tool so just create a funky looking shape 
So we're just gonna create a really funky looking shape right here. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect if you don't. Um, you know what? Let me just restart that. It doesn't look too good. Okay. Okay. So let's just say we have that. Um, not perfect, but it'll do. We want to add a stroke to it, so set your foreground color to white, because we're going to make the stroke white, and go right-click, stroke path. Um, now this dialog box should pop up, and you want to set it to brush, and check on stimulate pressure if it's not checked on. Click OK, and it should add our stroke. Now, if you look carefully, you'll see the path selection line is still there so we're just going to delete that by pressing the delete key and it looks really good because of the fade it fades in and fades out we, we want it like that alright so now you can rename this layer to abstract and you can add, uh, you can change the color if you want to it yeah, um, I'm just going to keep it white for this one and we want to duplicate the layer so control J duplicates it and whoops you want to move this around and transform it by pressing control T we want it to look different than the first one so we're just gonna move it right there and scale it down a little flip vertical make it look as different as possible now we're gonna change the color of this to a light green so 96 da 0 B and I'm gonna move it down a bit I know I'm going the it's going off the screen but 